up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I got something a little bit different for you, but something I'm super excited about. We're going to be reviewing the AC200L from Blue Eddy. This is the upgraded version of the AC200 Max. So I'm going to be walking through the specs of this thing and putting it to real life use so that you guys can see how it performs out here and see if it's something that you're interested in, whether you're building a cabin like myself or if you're living van life or just for something that is a uh, backup power source for your home in a grid down situation. And then later on in the video I also have the PV350 which is the solar panel from Blue Eddy that I'm going to be using hand in hand with this to show you how it can power this battery and charge it up so that this could be you know possibly the perfect the perfect off-grid setup for um, anyone who needs it. Okay so as you guys can see here on the front the AC200L offers a standard 2400 watt output in power lifting mode can also surge up to about 3600 watts. Has a standard of 2048 watt hours. You got 11 different options here um, for your output faces. So, got on the left here two DC outputs. Here in the middle, you have four different options for USB outputs on the sides two different USB-C's and in the middle under the same flap two USB-A's. Then here on the far right you have five different AC output faces four of which are your standard for you know um, anything as far as your batteries that you need to charge coffee maker literally anything that you can plug into a wall you can plug in here and you got your big boy here on the far right. Okay and last thing here on the front you got the power button here top left and your LED smart screen here. No touch screen on this one just basic information of everything you need to know. You got the DC input and output on your left hand side, AC input and output on the right hand side. And then you also got these, so whichever you're using, whether it's DC, USB, or AC, you push it, it lights up, and then lights up green because you got the green light to use it. So as you guys can see here on the left side of the battery, on the top left you have your DC input, which is going to be for your solar charging, which we'll get into later here in the video. And on the bottom right, you've got your AC input. I uh, really like these caps that are on it because that way, you know, if you drop it, it's not going anywhere. You don't got to worry about misplacing it. It just hangs there. Here on your uh, top right, you have the battery expansion input. So, for instance, if you were to plug in, you could do like two of their B300 batteries, and it could take this all the way up to about almost 8,200 watt hours that it would offer. So you have a lot of different options on their, the Blue Eddy's um, battery expansion packs. So that's just something that to think about as well if you're needing to get even more power than this just offers as a standard. And then here on the bottom right, you have your circuit protector. Then here on the right side of the battery, you just have a flat face um, with a ventilation going into the battery. Same as the other side, but you obviously have the inputs over there. So you're not going to exactly want to stack this up against anything and block this off because then you worry about your your battery overheating. Um, inside of this Blue Eddy, it does have a lithium ion phosphate battery. So that's really good because this thing can have 2,500 cycles of charging and discharging at an 80% battery capacity, which is honestly a ton of usage out of this thing. Okay, and here on the top of the battery, you have a flat surface. Um, on the handles, you've got, you know, two really sturdy handles to pick this thing up because this thing weighs in at about 61 pounds, so it's really heavy duty. So if you do have it in like a van or somewhere else, it's not just going to be tipping and roaming or running all over the place on you. Um, it's pretty sturdy, but some good grip underneath these handles and then a nice flat surface to set or stack anything that you need to on top of this puppy. So as you can see, I'm on the Blue Eddy app here and you can go in and literally control this battery from the app so you can go in and mess with all the different eco settings there's three different eco settings on here you have ac and dc eco so if it falls below a certain usage for a certain period of time 
um, it'll shut itself off just to save some energy and then you also have like eco deep mode so what it can do is if it goes um, if it's not using anything at all for AC it will enter like sleep mode just to save some power and then you also got the UPS mode which is really cool for like if there's a power outage you can have it really make sure it's honing in all its power to certain devices okay the first test that we're gonna put this thing through this morning is the most important we gotta get some coffee going so we're gonna hook this coffee machine up to the battery and see how it performs um, power in one of these Okay, as you can see, we're at 100% to start, so one of the tests I want to run on this is to see if this really even uses that much battery, if any at all, to make a pot of coffee. So as you can see, this is the Blue Eddy app, and something that's really cool about this is you can see exactly where the power is going and how much power is going out of it as you're using things. So it also works for when you're charging it, you know, um, how much power is coming in. But right now, you know, it's going out, so this is how much power the coffee maker is using, you know, about 1200 watts, and so far it's drained 3% of the battery um, because, you know, it's quite a bit of power to make this thing run. Okay, so we just got done making the pot of coffee. As you can see, we ended up using 6% doing this. So this was using just under about 1200 watts of power. So this would have char or powered this nonstop for about around an hour and a half. So all in all, pretty good. Didn't take that long, only used 6%. and. Now we're going to get some coffee in this morning and be rolling. Okay, so we've currently got the string lights rolling right now from the battery. And we've also got the mini fridge starting to get cold so we can transfer drinks over to it. So we've got about 184. It's going between about one, anywhere between 185 and 183 worth of watts right now. So, and it's telling us the battery life right now, if we continue to just have the same wattage is about just under nine hours left. So pretty cool there. And what's, what I really like is you can go and just see all this information from my phone as well. Um, you can mess with what power outputs are on. So the AC is on right now, and then you could mess with the DC, the USB. Um, and then you can go even in here, you see that it's 184 watts going to here you push on it, you can see the power, the voltage, the frequency and everything. So pretty cool to play around with the app and all that as well. And you can see that I'm Bluetooth to the battery. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna power the uh, area of the cabin that we sleep in. So we got some lights and an AC unit to really see how this thing performs power and something like that. Okay, so we've got some pretty hefty lights going in here right now. Also some lights in the bedroom going. We're running about 170, a little over 170 watts. So now we're gonna go ahead and come into here and try out and see what happens when we kick the AC on. Okay, so when we first powered on the AC, it was using for everything involved, lights, fan, AC, it was using around 200 something watts just because the AC wasn't having to work super hard. But as it's getting hotter outside, um, it's the AC unit's kind of having to really ramp it up to convert that air to be cold. So we're looking at about just under 600 watts now. So it's saying that we're going to use, this will run for about three hours and it's peak, peak heat of the day, um, obviously at night. When the AC isn't having to work as hard, it won't. It uh, it'll it'll run for a longer period of time. But so far, it's holding its own and doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, and as you can see now, the AC isn't working as hard, so it's back to 
about 205 watts and saying the battery's good for just under eight hours. So pretty cool. All right, now for the most important test to date, we're making ramen. Okay, so we're gonna see how this puppy powers this microwave. Uh, we also got some lights plugged in. Alrighty, pour the ramen, or wait, pour the water in the ramen. Golden. Okay. I'm gonna add a little corn in here, some pepper stuff, a little seasoning packet. Oh yeah. Alright, fold it back over here, save the flavor for later. Open this bad boy up. Now we're using 32 watts because it's a little light. Alright. Put this in there. Now we got four minutes. Okay, so we just pulled out our first microwave meal. We got the second one in there right now. Got about two and a half minutes left. Right now, the microwave is pulling just under, it's kind of going back and forth, um, but right now we're just under 1200 watts, so it's saying it would do this for just under an hour and a half. But the, um, I noticed that when it was, since we're using a pretty high wattage, this fan um, emoji, whatever you want to call it, kind of kicked on. So what's really cool though is you can't really, the fan isn't super loud and it's not going to be something that if it's on, it's bothering you by any means. So, um, but yeah, so far this thing is performing really well, um, making these microwave meals and we're still going to have probably about 75% left by the time it's done. At, at the worst. Okay, so what we have here is the PV350 solar panel from Blue Eddy. We're about to use this puppy to charge up the battery a little bit since we've depleted it some today. And I'm going to walk you through setting this thing up, getting it hooked up, and then kind of showing you how the whole system works. Okay, so it has these legs that kind of Velcro to it, but you can adjust how far they come out, and then it just slides right back in. So we're going to get this thing completely unfolded. You can see the solar panel here. I have to scoot it down a little bit. Get this thing completely set out. Okay, so now we're gonna put these legs back, give it something to lean on here. Okay, so now we are going to unzip this pouch that was on the solar panel, and inside is the first of the cordium that you need. So now we are gonna go ahead and hook this guy into here. Hook this guy into here. Okay, locked and loaded. Put those together. Now you will come over and go to your DC. Unscrew that like so. Plug that in. And get it all the way screwed in. And immediately when I started to tighten it up, it's taking 61 watts of input from the sun. Okay, so as you can see, it's not exactly getting a ton of power um, coming into the battery right now because there's a bit of a cloud cover, but at a max um, of like 1200 coming into the battery at once, you can get a two hour full charge on this. And if you're using AC charging at a max of 2400 on that, you could have it 80% charged in just 45 minutes and a full charge in two hours as well on that. Okay, so one big benefit to having one of these, especially in the winter time for us, and to having a solar panel to be able to 
charge this battery up was in the winter there's no really major benefit of running a big generator because you're not powering an AC, you're not really having to power a fridge that much, you're not having to do all those sorts of like high power usage things. So, but you're still going to want to charge camera batteries, laptops, phones, anything like that, um, camera, whatever the, whatever the case may be, you're going to want to charge all those things still. And it's nice to have something that you can charge this battery and then charge all your other devices without having to burn through gas money or do all of those things. So that's a really, this is a really like big plus to having one of these setups, especially in the winter when you're not wanting to um, like run a big bad generator if you have to. Like, you know, a, a power station like this will do more than enough. And then even if you do have to run a generator occasionally, or I mean a, an AC unit, instead of running a generator and burning through gas money, especially if you have add-on battery packs to this thing, you can really even um, go above and beyond just what this thing offers as a standard. Okay, so coming back to the app just to show you guys as earlier what was going out. Now I'm showing you what's coming in. It's showing you that we have 51 watts coming in from solar. So you can push on that and see the voltage and stuff as well. But just kind of cool to be able to, you know, if you're away from the battery or not like outside to see it, you can open this puppy up, see what you got coming in, see what the charge is at, and so on and so forth. So yeah, the, the app is super user friendly and it uh, comes in handy a ton. Okay, so right now we got the battery powering the whole cabin. I've got it plugged into this AC port. into the cabin wall and it's powering all of our lights and everything we need to cook up some dinner tonight so not a ton of power for all of the lights in there as of now about 117 watts so good boy Still holding steady as you guys can see. Levi's curious, the wind's starting to pick up out here. Alright, we've been chilling inside watching some movies, just relaxing a little bit tonight, enjoying some time off. And the battery has been out here putting in work. It's been powering all the lights outside and inside the cabin, been charging our phones and charging some batteries. So it's dropped to about 58%. And when we started it was just under just under 80, I believe. So it's holding up really well. It's been fluctuating around 120 to 150 watts, but I'm happy with how the battery performed today. I think it's a really good pro product and um, you know I'm excited to continue to use it in the future and continue to put it to the test and just 
have it be a tool for my everyday life. Um, if you guys thought this was a cool product and you're interested in it, there's going to be product links down here in my description. If you guys want to check them out, um, you can click down here and check them out and even purchase them through the link. So appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one. See you later.